Hello and welcome to this special news feature coming to you on Nagaland and Northeast Coniston TV and ECTV News from our studios at Kohima, Nagaland. I am Sekula Nene. We carry this news from Nagaland via our 24-7 TV website http northeastconestontv.in and our Northeast Coniston TV YouTube channel. With the long-awaited dream of a good four-lane national highway, the people of Nagaland have been keenly observing and looking forward with anticipation the ongoing construction of the four-lane highway from Dimapur, the commercial center of Nagaland, to Kohima, the capital of Nagaland. Most people of Nagaland are curious, even dying to know what is going on with the progress of four-lane highway from Dimapur to Kohima. Since the beginning of the project in 2016, some news and information have been released time to time, but today for the first time ever, we have this directly from the authorities, straight from the proverbial horse's mouth about this and other interesting relevant information regarding the present Dimapur Kohima four lane highway. The public of Nagaland indeed have the right to know this vital information. According to Arun Kumar Gupta, General Manager, Project of the National Highways Infrastructure Development Corporation Limited, NHIDCL, Government of India, the targeted date for completion of the four-lane highway was actually September 2019, but due to many factors including the climatic conditions of Nagaland and other things like slow protection works where everything comes under the contract, they need one more working season and the expected date for completion of the four-lane highway is now slotted for May 2020. The entire four-lane highway between Dimapur and Kohima is divided into three packages. Package 1 includes the stretch from Kushiabil near Purana Bazar Dimapur to the Patkai Bridge near Chumukedima. Package 2 is the stretch from Patkai Bridge to Police and Forest Check Post before Kirupema under Dimapur District. And Package 3 is the stretch from the Police and Forest Check Post to Jotoma Band or Bypass just before reaching Kohima. This is a vital artery and most important highway for the people of Nagaland, including Manipur. The construction work being done at the four-lane highway and today's feature will be on record for future generations to see and to know. Today, therefore, for our special NEC TV exclusive, we have the first ever interview on the four lane highway with Anil Kumar Gupta, General Manager NHIDCL, a public sector unit under Ministry of Road Transport and Highways, Government of India, and on the Nagaland Government Local Authority side, Mr. Kevin Kevekhaze Hall, Deputy Commissioner of Dimapur. Over to Mr. Wabang Mua for the interview. Live media, LED screens with broadcast by Highland Dawn Media. Live multi-camera HD video record and live projection to HD LED screen. Live streaming videos simultaneously to websites, YouTube, Facebook. Later on, the same live event is telecast on 1. Naglen Coniston TV, 24-7 online TV channel worldwide. Consistent, professional, reliable Nagaland and beyond media. At this moment, it is our privilege to be here at the office chamber of the Deputy Commissioner of Dimapur, Mr. Kevin Kevakaze Ho. And uh, we have with us also Mr. Arun Kumar Gupta, who is the General Manager Projects of the NHIDCL, which is a public sector unit under the Government of India. Yes. NHIDCL stands for National Highway Infrastructure Development Corporation, Corporation. Limited. And today we want to discuss about the four-lane highway construction which is going on right now uh, connecting Dimapur and Kohima and going beyond also. But we will discuss in certain segments. And this is a very important topic for the people of Nagaland, of vital importance, of such significance for our future. <coughs> and so we are very, very curious to know what is happening. We really appreciate the work which is being done right now. We can see with our very own eyes what is happening. Uh, hills and mountains and rocks are being cut through and uh, we'll talk about this in detail and so one more thing is that this four-lane highway is connecting the Asian highway number one right yes it's from India to Myanmar and to then Thailand Asia, to Thailand and then China everywhere and the first thing we would like mm -hmm. to know is you know the progress of the highway right now mm -hmm. you know what's been going on the date till date for the four-lane highway see this uh, our project is from Patkai Bridge to Joshua Bank 
सो प्रेजेंट लेंथ इज फिफ्टी किलोमीटर प्रेजेंट हाँ प्रेजेंट लेंथ बट आफ्टर कंप्लीशन ऑफ दिस फोर लेनिंग प्रोजेक्ट द लेंथ विल रिड्यूस टू फोर्टी थ्री किलोमीटर दैट इज सेविंग ऑफ सेवन किलोमीटर विल बी देयर वंस दिस फोर लेन इज रेडी फ्रॉम पटका दिस टू जोसमा बेंड नाउ फॉर ईज ऑफ कंस्ट्रक्शन दिस होल स्ट्रेच हैज बीन डिवाइडेड इंटू थ्री पार्ट वी कॉल इट एज अ पैकेज वन टू एंड थ्री एंड अकॉर्डिंगली एन एच आई डी हैज इन्वाइटेड द बिड एंड गिवन द टेंडर टू द private parties two is it two or three private parties no there are only two okay. first and two uh, uh, first package and second package has gone to eci ranki eci it, it is a joint venture right. and the uh, third package which is in kohima district it has gone to gaitri right so work order was issued uh, in the month of august september 2016 right. to both the parties and original date of completion was september 19 it was a 3 years 2019 yeah 2019 right. so 3 years project but now we are uh, expecting some delay and uh, we are now expecting completion uh, by may 2020 okay ha uh, may 2020 so there may be some uh, there is there may be means that there will be delay of say 7 or 8 months because now contractors want one more working season that is from october 19 to may 20 yes so yes. that's uh, approximately 1 year from now yes you can say ha ha presently 60% of the work if you take the average of the, all the three packages so 60% of the work has been completed okay ji and beside this uh, uh, there is another four laning work is going on under nhd cell mm-hmm. and that is uh, dimapur bypass mm-hmm. so we all know the traffic position in dimapur uh, city Definitely. all the trucks coming from assam and going to manipur or even going to kohima they are passing through the city creating lot of a traffic jam pollution and all yes, yes. so government of india has proposed one bypass mm-hmm. so the uh, dimapur bypass is under construction it is 20 km of length and uh, it is start from khushia bill can you explain the location of khushia bill for other viewers khushia bill it is uh, see the origin of this bypass is from assam yes the one road is coming from maja side uh, we call it national highway 36 uh-huh. so there is lahori jan forest gate is there right yes. from that point this <coughs> bypass originate The total length of the bypass is around uh, 36 km. So 14 km, 15 km is under Assam, mm-hmm. and rest is in uh, Nagaland, ar- around 20.6 km, or you can say 21 km. Okay. So it originated from that point, that uh, forest gate. Mm-hmm. Then it crossed Khatkadi, NS 39, or it is now NS 29. Right. The that bypass will cross uh, that Khatkadi. Yeah. Then it will cross the Dhansri River. Oh. That village is Khushia Bay. Okay. Then Hanvi, Siti Kima, and then it will touch. Uh, patkai bridge yes. and it will touch this national highway 29 there so that means uh, a new bridge is going to be built over that river dansari yeah, yeah yeah there okay. will be one major bridge will be there so that will be a two lane or four lane four lane this uh, bypass is also four lane yes. and there is one uh, more uh, very good thing is there that bypass that uh, this dimapur bypass complete bypass nagaland portion assam portion it will be concrete road this dimapur kohima which we are doing from patkai to jotsma bend it is bituminous road but this bypass will be concrete road and what is the difference between these two that concrete road they are more durable mm-hmm. their design life is more 30 years they they will last for 30 years okay. while bituminous road lasts for 15 years how about about expenditure wise expenditure the capital cost is more as far as uh, uh, ha first more. cost is more no not much more sir but life cycle cost is less because maintenance is very um, less in the concrete road yeah. so life co- cycle cost is less though uh, initial cost is more Yeah, yeah. Ji, ji. So that means uh, nearly twenty kilometers of concrete road. Yeah, yeah. You will be in Nagaland. Wow. Okay. Ji. Great. And I, I add to one more thing, uh, and then where uh, this uh, Dimapur Kohima, that Josma Bend, it will be end four lane, and from Josma Bend, Kohima bypass will take over. Yeah. Again, the DPR study is going on. That will be forty-four kilometer of length. So it will uh, originate from that portion, uh, that Josma bypass mm-hmm. area. and it will cross uh, high court junction then bsf junction and it will merge again on national highway 29 near jafu christian college and this will be under national highway uh, nhdcl again this koima bypass will be to uh, will be under okay. nhdcl okay. so so actually how does it bypass koima so it will start uh, near the josma bend yes then it will go to high court junction that road which is going from koima to vokha so there is uh, high court yeah. building is coming up yes, yes, yes. so it will uh, cross that high court junction yeah. then again it will come to uh, this uh, kohima chakbama road and it will cross oh, that yes. bsf junction it will cross mm-hmm. bsf junction right, right, right. then it will come to 
uh, again come to join National Highway 29 near Jaffa Christian College. So that means uh, from DSM it goes towards uh, this Amima uh, side or? Yeah, I mean, uh, yes, yes, yes. I, I don't know the name of the village. But it is not going to actually touch the present road. It will only join from Jaffa Christian College. Jaffa Christian right. College. So it's going to be another new road. Okay. Yeah, it will be a green line element. So, how many years do you think that will take to... Kohima Bypass, DPR study is going on. Yeah. It is under finalization and the land acquisition process is also going on. Right. So, though we are hoping to bid it in this financial year, right. say by March 20, if we bid it, so again three years working, means 23. So, 2023, uh, we are planning to complete it. Oh, I see. Yeah. So, meanwhile, before that, that means it will go by the vehicles, so will go by the usual route yeah, to yeah. Kohima. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Great. I mean, we are receiving such good information. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. So, uh, the next question is, uh, what has been the present quality of the road construction? Mm -hmm. And also, like as compared to perhaps other national highways, uh, mm -hmm. Shillong, Guwahati or like that? Mm -hmm. See, uh, what NHI diesel does, to check the quality of the contractor, we have appointed a consultant. Consultant, we call it uh, authority engineer. We are authority, so he is our eyes and ears, that consultant. He is on the road. Yeah, he is on the road. Side. Now, authority engineer is having a team of around 25 people who is uh, looking after this Dimapur Kohima quality control work. Mm -hmm. And there are key personnel, there are uh, personnel with uh, experience of 20 years, 15 years of all the field, like uh, uh, bridge expert, highway expert, they are uh, then geotechnical expert then they are uh, quality control expert. So they go almost daily on site. And as per the contract agreement between the NHR diesel and that authority engineer person, he is supposed to check minimum, minimum 20% test, minimum 20% test. Okay. Means ki, there is no maximum limit. He can check 100% also. Yeah. So he goes daily, he check the uh, quality of the contractor. Uh, he performed the test as per the codal provision, as per the technical specification. The quality is being checked almost on daily basis by that authority engineer, which has been specifically appointed by the NHIDC. So, quality is comparable with the other NH. You are saying that he has around 25 uh, people who are working under him. Huh, around 25 people. of all the levels. Huh. Have to check the yeah. all, all the time. Yeah, yeah. Every day? Every day they go. See, what is the uh, like uh, procedure? Uh, contractor raise RFI, we call it as RFI, that is request for inspection. So, contractor through email raise the daily RFI, request for inspection uh, with a copy to us. But then the, that consultant based upon that RFI, they go to site and they witness the uh, testing, any testing like soil testing, aggregate, whether aggregates are fulfilling the criteria, whether soil is good or not, concrete, bitumen, anything, whether it is being laid as per uh, contract agreement or not. I see. Okay. Ji. And apart from that, sometime like ministry have their pool of retired officer, they call it NLPM, the National Level Project Monitors. The so once in a while, uh, those person, retired chief engineer or DG level officer or ADG level officer, they also come. Uh -huh. So, till now, uh, in 2017 June or May, uh, one LM, uh, NLPM has also checked the projects yeah. and what is his overall comment overall comments are in because it was that time uh, major activity did not start but it was good and lpm was but happy he was happy, <laughs> he, was happy. Okay. Ji, 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 he was happy i don't know whether we, you would like to frankly share or not yes, but yes, uh, yes. there was also uh, certain issues that were you see public Sorry. has also their ji, own ji, ji, ji. version so they said whatever little bit of patch that was completed sir the workmanship was not good. They were, I mean, they were saying that the bitumen use was not good. Uh -huh, you sir, have any uh, comment on that? Sir, sir, I am telling you that 6 kilometer uh, bitumenous pave, uh, pavement they have done, ECI, 6 kilometer around. So, the patch is coming out at some places. So, uh, then we called CRRI, that is Central Road Research Institute. It okay. is again Government of India Institute. Okay. It, it is uh, based in Delhi. So, the team had come uh, in the uh, first week of April and they have investigated also. Prima facie, it is a case of adulterated bitumen. Though they have not submitted yet the report, uh, formal report they have not, they are checking all the things. Okay. They have dig out uh, in fact at eight places, road. So, but formal report is still awaited. 
anything for sure can be said only after the receiving of the exactly. final report exactly. but prima facie it is the case of adulterated bitumen so, prima facie okay, okay. so if it is patching out that means it is the uh, because the the grade of bitumen uh, there are different grades of bitumen and it uh, it grade depend upon the weather condition also ambient temperature so while procuring bitumen contractor uh, takes the right uh, grade of the bitumen depending upon the weather condition general weather condition or climatic condition of that particular location but i think it was in a way good ji yes. because uh, we learn things through our faults yes so that failure yes failures yes so between between and the workmanship showing up that it is below standard ji yes. it's good it started at the initial initial stage so that we stand corrected in the rest of the project time and one thing i want to add is sir contractor after completion of uh, construction period there is a defect liability period clause in the contract means ki after completion of the road for next 4 year contractor will maintain the road also so in this case simplex cci ha huh, they will maintain the road for next 4 year also after completing the project okay, okay. we call it dlp defect liability period so it's like it is inbuilt it is inbuilt it's it's like amc annual maintenance yes, yes. something ha huh, ha huh, yes contractor is liable to do it okay. for next 4 years that's good but the comparison between perhaps the shillong guwahati road and this uh, dimapur <coughs> kohima road mm -hmm. can you just give us you know some points if there is any difference uh, i have also travel on this guwahati shillong what i can say uh, from engineering point of view ki geometrically this road will be better means ki the road dimapur kohima geometrically would be better uh, from that uh, guwahati and shillong because uh, if you also have travel on that road there are sharp curves on the guwahati shillong road and sometime uh, vehicles big and small they skid but that problem will not be here because we have taken care of that uh, uh, sharp curves and all you must be facing a lot of challenges i mean the, especially the field workers on the road and mm -hmm. perhaps the companies mentioned uh, mm -hmm. ecr mk gayatri or even the uh, simplex So, could, uh, you know, can you share with us some of the challenges being faced? And mm. what yeah, challenges are there. Engineering challenge. If we uh, first we take if engineering challenge, high rainfall area is certainly a big challenge here because generally five months or six months, sometimes six month contractor they lose uh, in a year, and the rest of the season also generally in January, February also we sometimes witness rain. So high rainfall is one of the reason. Then secondly, the poor soil condition. in general the soil condition of the nagaland is very poor particularly in kohima district it is all shale the moment it gets wet it loses all the strength even there is very good book written by one professor of kohima science college uh, book is titled rocks of nagaland so if anybody in, is interested he can go through that book and that book gives a very detailed insight into the soil condition of the state of nagaland so that is the another challenge we are facing that is the soil condition are very uh, poor then the third uh, condition this pagla pahad area that is stretch that is first 5 km yeah. because on one side there is a rock uh, under side there is deep valley river is there yes. so uh, that portion really posed a big challenge to our contractor and uh, we are really uh, really thankful to uh, district office uh, dc office and all they have permitted uh, us this uh, given us the road, road blockade for one month and we are doing day night work there just to complete in time you have blockaded and working at night yeah yes. yeah yes now yes we are restricting not only uh, vehicle movement of any kind from 10:30 pm till 5 am the next day and the uh, eci they are working uh, at all hours in a very adverse terrain and this uh, you see the the name itself pakla pahar this is just not name itself is pakla so you know the type of uh, hardship that our uh, uh, contractors are going through we have to appreciate that yes yes besides the rocks there are uh, sand you know all yes yeah, sand stone and it has history of major landslide that is stress yes. it has its history of major landslides okay the challenges faced regarding alignment road alignment as well as um, if you want to talk about the uh, land compensation no people and the state government they were very cooperative so no major challenges faced as far as uh, land acquisition and all concerned uh, as for uh, the moment we uh, deposited money into respective dc account whether it is dc kohima or it is dc dimapur amount was disbursed speedily and the 
uh, this area the ROW right of way was handed over to us very speedily and the contractor working without any problem generally uh, yes yes commissioner. yes deputy commissioner in state government also yeah we are and the people also i must add this that people of nagaland uh, since last year though they are suffering because of the um, uh, some because of construction road is not that much good but still uh, they are suffering and they are very cooperative still they are very cooperative they are very cooperative okay, okay. Uh. perhaps uh, our deputy commissioner was can also say a word on this yeah uh, yes they are actually working under uh, lots of constraints that the topography itself uh, certain areas are not very friendly or there has been a lot of complaint about uh, when especially when it was very dry uh, people complain that uh, too much dust dust, dust yeah. and uh, the other fellow can barely see ahead so this i brought to the notice of the contractors also they they did try so but now with uh, rainfall that is been taken care of the other little bit of comments here there is even during while the road is the the progress is on but at least that it will it should give a comfortable journey yes yeah. the contractors are to maintain traffic the, worthy road at least traffic worthy road ji yeah, ji yeah. so i i don't know but uh, there has been still complaint about this and mm. i think there is need for improvement in this area. okay so we will look into yeah. this this i will request the nsidcl our general manager is here ji yeah. if can put it strongly to the pci at the same time gaitri also simplex of course they are still not connected they are it is a green it, field yeah it is green field okay. actually sir this is the another challenge we are facing because see kohima is a state capital and dimapur is a commercial capital yeah. with only rail head and uh, airport head traffic is too much on this road and vvip traffic and all type of traffic yes, then yes. whole manipur is being fed by this road only yeah. so and there is no diversion also we cannot divert traffic to any say link road and we can work uh, matlab uh, peacefully so that is another challenge ki traffic is moving on adjacent traffic is moving on and we are still constructing the road yes. it is it uh, itself poses a big challenge exactly exactly so in, in some cases earlier there were some uh, the state police were also assigned and i was uh, are still is it still yeah, the irb is with the contractor contractor so that means i mean 24 hours every day they, they are attached to them actually okay okay hmm. they are camping camping with them they are camping with them camping with them okay, yeah fine. okay so i think in as far as the support of our security uh we are providing them and should there is the need for it we can reinforce it also there was uh, one more challenge which i want to share with you that was the shifting of high tension tower all along the road there was high tension tower of yes. pgcil yes. and department of power nagaland yes so and the power grid also the power grid ha huh, pgcil sir yes. so oh, yes. nhd sir paid money to both pg cil and department of power nagaland and they relocated the whole uh, 38 number of tower was relocated in record time again big thanks to state government dc office and all uh, otherwise these things generally delay the project shifting of ht towers lt tower even water pipelines and all so these all things have been removed i see yeah i think the risk factor if you are talking about i would still like to come back to the pakai and the pakla pahar sector yes, yes. we have started we have stopped the vehicle movement i mean every movement every movement at 30 to 5 am but they are still in a better area if they really come to those adverse area i mean uh, that is really going to be very difficult difficult job you see it is so steep so, steep. so narrow and uh, mean it's going to become worse all we have not actually touched the worst area it's going to be very steep yeah it's very almost dangerous so those portions i think there are two three very bad yes, areas sir. it's almost 90 degree 90 degree 90 degree so once we touch you know the arrangement of um, mother nature the boulders that will come from top that's uh, actually so we all keep our fingers crossed uh one specific area where the boulders are just waiting to roll down you know mm -hmm. yes. perhaps uh, that should be addressed otherwise it will pose a hazard it's a hazard right now actually uh, i i sure. must say actually it has been provi providential uh we have not been officially reported also but thank god there is no loss of life 
But uh, because of uh, big road borders coming like that, uh, one, two machines have been uh, destroyed. That's what mm, yes, I have heard. Yeah, yeah, that's just right. Yes, uh, there's a 30 feet stretch, stretch of land. And I wish, you know, they put boulders mm -hmm. in the road so that if other boulders fall, up, fall they will they will block. The road, huh? Otherwise, right now it's just open. Okay. It can just fall down. Yeah. So and we will see. Uh, can, uh, that's good suggestion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that's good, suggestion. Uh, good suggestion. Yeah. yeah. We can incorporate. G G G. I am very much involved here because uh, I go, I sit with them, I go with them to places wherever they are working, and if I am going up to Kohima. I make sure that I go to the camp and sit with them, sure. chat with them and you know, the, sitting over light refreshment, that's the time when I get the best time to see what are the real difficulties, the challenges that they are facing. So I'm proud to say that uh, they, you know, they also friendly share with me and uh, I have seen one rocky portion. Uh, mm. After Harima, uh, yes, yes, now yeah, on yeah. way to yes, yes, yes. we call it sir change 146 because our people were not actually fully agreeable to using this uh, blasting blasting. Mm. So their JCP had to really go up now, and I from that road looking at that no, it was really so it's scary, scary, it's scary, mm. very much, okay. very very scary. Mm rocks and on top of them you know that forget about the mission i mean the, the man falling with the mission now nah. if man itself also falls down now nah. cut off 200 200, 200 feet to 50 feet the very high manly, manly work which is being done okay. yes. very, very, very scary work yes but scary. we know how you know your people are able to do that we really appreciate no, you we really uh, appreciate uh, convey to your yeah. people thank workers. you yes sir. that is uh, one appreciation from yes. us are there any other points you would like to bring for the awareness of the public as well as any other points you would like to say? Uh, approximately, NHR Diesel is planning approximately 900 km of roads in Nagaland in next uh, 5 years or 6 years or so. And uh, NHR Diesel would be very happy if same kind of support we get from state government and the public because we are here to uh, complete the road in time. Our, uh, <coughs> contract agreement is uh, uh, structure of a contract agreement is such that uh, contractor cannot escape responsibility and accountability because there is DLP clause is also defect liability period. Uh, what is DLP? Like uh, after construction defect of liability. Uh, completion, defect liability that after four years, uh, three years of construction he will maintain the road also. So NHRD shall motto is to just provide good roads in the Nagaland and in return we uh, require or we expect cooperation from the public and from the state government. Thank you. I would like to sum up like this. The road belongs to people of Nagana in particular and uh, be it H NH IDCL or Simplex or ECI Ramki or Gayatri. We are thankful to them. They will make the road. But the road is ours. And I would like to call upon uh, especially people from Nagaland to give all cooperation. We have imposed total movement of any movement from 10.30 to 5 a.m. Uh, we are likely to even extend this and we have not really touched that really tough portion. Also, I think I would also appeal for patience because we are actually fighting against nature or working against nature. So. When we are doing massive work like this, it is expected that sometimes some big boulders will come, fall down, land will slide. So, you know, one thing is if, it, if the road is blocked for say 10-15 minutes or so, we get lots of uh, calls saying what has happened to the road. See, on the way, there will be some time where traffic has, has to be halted. Hold after all, it is net, we are fighting against nature, working against nature. So I would like to appeal to all passengers who are crossing these locations where the work is going on, going on now to extend all cooperation and also be with people who are working for our roads. Exactly. And I must thank you for exactly. coming here yes, exactly. because uh, what I feel is all this information which uh, today our engineer from NHIDCL, the interaction that we had, this should have been brought to public domain yes. from day one 
so that public are aware what is coming and then time to time like this when did we start where are we now and exactly in physical progress like our engineer has said they are 60 percent that's i think mm -hmm. average good. of three average of three average yeah. of three Every average of 360 percent i think is really very good so I think this information the public has a real right to know. That's right. Yes. That's right. So, like Sir Deputy Commissioner shared, you know, uh, we really need patience as well as like uh, this is a project which is affecting generations. Okay. It is not only for us but for our children also. True. So we also look forward to the responsible construction of the whole road, right? We look forward that it will last for our children to come. Yes. So yes. we thank you so much for your both your time. Thank Mr. you, Sir Arun Kumar Gupta, as well as uh, Mr. Kevin Zeho. Thank you so much. Thank Our pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you. Live media LED screens with broadcast by Highland Dawn Media. Live multi-camera HD video record and live projection to HD LED screen. Live streaming video simultaneously to websites, YouTube, Facebook. Later on, the same live event is telecast on 1. Naglan Coniston TV, 24-7 online TV channel worldwide. Consistent, professional, reliable Nagaland and beyond media.